Hello and welcome to Maxi's Fun Time. This is Maxi, and we are back here on Magic Together in Arena. Um, there was an update to the uh, game here. There is new stuff. Where you at? Are you gonna lock up on me? Hello. <laughs> there we go. So, these are available till um, the 16th of January, and they are uh, two different decks, and I'm going to go into this with you right now, right here. They are from this, right here, the Game Awards After Party. Now, I did not watch the Game Awards. I was actually watching the uh, debate for the uh, impeachment debate. And I was hoping it was going to be over with before this uh, the Game Awards came on so I could watch that. But sadly that wasn't the case. So <laughs> I won't get into the whole politics stuff. I don't want to go into that in my channel. But suffice to say I didn't get to watch them. Um, but there's a little thing on here where you can play the decks. I'm going to go through the decks here in a minute. And uh, you get the reward of when you win, if you win. And you can keep playing until the event lens, when, uh, ends. I figure we'll play through the deck. We'll look at and play through a couple of games on this one. Let's see how we go. <clears throat> but right now, I've got five decks, five uh, packs to open up. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I don't see anything real good here. Uh, that's not bad. What's next? Pack four. Oh, my computer's lagging. Something fierce. Uh, flying. Oh, I hate that guy. I haven't seen this one. If at least three green mana was spent to cast this card, it enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it. It cannot be blocked by creatures with power of two or less. That's pretty good. Another seven dwarf, yes. <laughs> I want a seven dwarf stick. Uh enrich the lurcher. Enter the battlefield with the top four cards in your library into your graveyard. Choose target artifact card in your graveyard. You may cast this on this turn. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, number three. Vulnerable Knight. Fireborn Knight. Oh, Acclaimed Contender. When a claimed contender enters the battlefield, if you control another knight, look at the top five creature library, you may reveal a knight or or equipment, uh, equipment or legendary artifact card among them and put it into your hand. The rest of them go to the bottom of your library in random order. It's pretty good. And number two. Oh, two wilds. Nice. Spider. Nothing real good. I like those. Hmm. I'll make me a white deck one of these days. A spawning white deck. And then our final pack. Overwhelmed Apprentice. Queen of Ice. When Queen of Ice deals combat damage to a creature, tap that creature. It does not untap. Oh, that's so And then Flying Lifelink Hush Harbor Hushbringer. When creatures entering the battlefield or dying do not cause abilities to trigger. Okay. So what I want to do here is let's go into the game award party here and let's inspect these decks. There's two different decks here. There's Ashaka Nightmare Muse and then Elspar Sun Nemesis. Now, uh, one of these is supposed to be an evil deck, one of these is supposed to be a good deck. 
So I'm assuming this is the good deck. This is the evil deck. Uh, let's take a look at the this one. Now, you do not get these decks. You do not get these cards added to your um, collection when you play these decks. Just so you so I note that. Uh, Messenger Girl. Massacre Girl. I don't know why I keep calling her Messenger Girl. Messenger Girl enters the battlefield. Each, each creature gets a negative one, negative one in the turn. Whenever a creature dies this turn, each creature other than Massacre Girl gets a negative one, negative one. That's Massacre. Massacre. Stop saying that. Cavalier, uh, stop it. Cavalier Knight. Gas, Gas Lord of Fagu. Deals combat damage to a player. That player reveals their hand. You may choose a card from it. The player must exile that card. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Eldest Born. These are special saga cards that you can play. And uh, each round, basically, the, the thing goes off. And then you, the, the objective is to go through all three. So, last three rounds. You can uh, destroy them with an equipment card. Uh, equi Anything gets rid of the equipment will get rid of this, basically. And the ending one on this one is put a target creature or planeswalker from your graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. And it comes with... Uh, I only see one of those. And then we have a planeswalker. Uh, plus one ability is create two three blue black nightmare creatures tokens with whenever this creature attacks or blocks each opponent exiles the top two cards from their library we have a negative three loyalty return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand then that player exiles a card from their hand and then a minus seven ability you may cast up to three face up cards your opponent owns from exile without paying their mana cost. Oh, oh that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Uh, and you know people's going to be getting that out. We have a Sphinx here. Whenever Sphinx enters the battlefield, you may return target creature from your opponent's control. You may t you may return target creature and owner con an an opponent controls to its owner's hand. Okay. We have control magic, counter spell. Whenever a creature attacks you, in the planeswalker or planeswalker you control, that creature. Oh, I know that. We, we've, we've used that extensively. Which is vengeance, hero's downfall, read the bones. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice. What? Enchanted creature has at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice that creature. Okay. Counter target creatures or planeswalker spell. If the spell was countered, if a, if that spell was countered this way, exile it instead of putting it on top. You're on his grave by scribe one. Midnight clock. At the beginning of your upkeep, put an hour counter on midnight clock. When the twelfth hour counter is put on midnight clock, shuffle your hand and your graveyard into your library, then draw seven cards. This this basically ensures, unless you get rid of it, it ensures that you um, never run out of cards. So you never, there's never going to be a point where you run out of cards unless you can, unless you can. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Unless you can run them out of cards before this hits 12, or get rid of it somehow. And you can spend mana to actually put counters on this. So, if they feel that you're going to get close to that, they can put counters on it themselves. It also gives you mana, which is pretty good.
Uh, Whispering Agent, Flash, whenever Whispering Agent is battlefield, Swivel, Flying Creature, whatever, Thief of Sanity deals combat damage, so player, look at the top card. Oh, so this is a Swivel deck, and that's the way that they plan on getting cards back into your deck, so you can continue to Swivel. I got it. Mage here, Fairy Duelist, Night Spirit, Omen Speaker, Merfolk Trickster, that sucks, <laughs> um, Dire Fleet Hoarder, also human, yeah, human pirate, Order of Midnight, Quench is the counter spell, of course this deck's going to have counter spells, it's blue, that sucks. Uh, destroy target non-black creature. Enchant. How many of those? It only looks like one. Uh, enchanted creature gets negative three, negative three. Lots of removal in this one. Another mana producing artifact. Yep. Three color. Uh, draw card one. Flash. Flying creature. More draw card. Negative two, negative two. So that's the uh, the Ashika. I'm I'm totally butchering that name. Sorry, guys. And for the other deck, we have what is this? Els Elspeth. Um, I didn't look at these on the other ones, but stop it. Yeah. We have Realm Cloak Giant. Uh, destroy all non giant creatures. And this one has Vigilance. I've seen that one used. Harmonious Anchor. Non anchor creatures have a base power and toughness of <laughs> 3 and 3. When Harmonious Anchor enters the battlefield, create 2 1 1 white human creatures. So, and then they turn to three threes. If they're not anchors, is that how that works? Cycle of loyalty. It's a legendary artifact. Creatures get plus one plus one. When you cast a legendary spell, create a two two white knight creature. Yeah, I've seen that one. Knightly valor. Here's the battlefield. Create two two. This is a token creation thing. Yeah. Cavalier Dawn. Whenever Cavalier Dawn enters the battlefield, destroy up to one target non-land permanent. Its controller creates 3-3 three, three colorless golem artifact instead. And it dies, return target artifact or enchantment to from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, Hero Wins, Inspiring Captain, Leon War Leader, also a token generation, Concove Tribunal, what is that one? Exile Target, Target Non Land Permanent, and Opponent Controls until Concove Leaders, okay. On Saren's Wings, Enchant Creature, Enchant Creatures Legendary gets plus one plus one, has flying vigilance and lifelink. Jesus. Elspur Sun Nemesis. After two creatures you control, get a plus two plus one till the end of turn. This one has only negative uh, loyalty. There's no plus loyalty counters on this. But you can pay for. You can pay six to exile, I mean, uh, to escape. So basically what you want to do here is use the loyalties up on this, pay the escape cost, and then pop it back into your hand, and then pop it back out. Yeah. Okay. 
Decree of Justice, create X plus four plus four, um, four, four white angel creatures with flying cycle. When you cycle Decree of Justice, you may pay X. If you do, create X one one white soldier creatures. Cycling means you may pay the cycling cost to discard this card and draw a card instead of paying the decree cost. And when you do that, it'll create. You can pay to create 1 1 tokens basically with this card instead of the angel creatures right there. Um, you're going to have to have a lot of mana for this one. Because it costs four and then it's XX, so you have to double up. Yeah, so if you want one, you have to pay two. If you want two, you have to pay four. That's how that one works. Uh, we have Acclaimed Contender, Adminville Tactician, Fabled Hero. I like double strike creatures. Uh, other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Uh, the saga in this deck is uh, History of Benalla. Uh The first and the second create a 2-2 knight creature with vigilance. And then the third knight you control get a plus 2, plus 1 until the end of turn. Uh, we have equipment. This one, equipped creatures get a plus 2, plus 0, has vigilance in the is a knight in addition to its other property types whenever equipped creature attacks create a another token generation a 2-2 two, two white knight token with vigilance that is attacking you can equip this for three it costs three to put down uh, sword of fire and ice equipped creature gets plus two plus two and has protection from red and blue whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player sword of fire and ice deals two damage to any target and you draw a card you this is three costs and you equip for two uh, charming prince knight of grace protection from black this would be a good one to put um, equipment on and enchantments especially against that other deck As long as your any player controls a black permanent, you get a plus one plus one, a plus one plus zero. Uh, Draxus blessed of the sun. Draxus toughness and is equal to the number to your devotion to white. Devotion is each um, planes in the mana cost of permanents you control towards your devotion of white. Whenever each, another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, you gain one life. Uh, Leon Skyhunter, another equipment, Ancestral Blade. When Ancestral Blade enters the battlefield, create a plus one, plus one. I'm sorry, a one, one white soldier creature token. Then attach Ancestral Blade to it. Equipped creatures get a plus one, plus one. You can equip it for one, it's two. That's actually pretty cheap. Dominant Will. Flash flash Enchantment. That's nice. Plus one, plus two. Exile Target Artifact or Enchantment. You will need that. Target Creature you control gains protection from the color of your choice until the end of turn. Draw a card. Smelter. Enchantment White Creatures. Ooh, that's just a regular enchantment you put on the board, and all your white creatures get a plus one, plus one. Nice. Mindstone. You can sacrifice it to add a card and it adds colorless mana. Black Lotus. Three mana of any color. Uh, Human Knight. Gains indestructible. Uh, another Human Knight. Vulnerable Knight. What was this one? Dauntless Bodyguard. Okay. Target creature you control gains protection from any color. Yep, we, we've seen that one. Legendary Landing. When Legendary Landing enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 white vampire creature token with lifelink. When you attack with three or more creatures, transform Legion's Landing. Okay. 
it becomes a legendary land that lets you create uh, vampires <laughs> okay and you have to attack with three or more when this is out on the field it shouldn't be too hard exile target creature its controller gains life equal to its power and then another artifact it just gives you colorless mana and that's pretty good so those are the two decks that you have to choose from I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and end it here and we're going to split this into two different episodes for this weekend uh, if if you're playing it this weekend I don't know how long this is going to be available I'm assuming it's going to be up for a bit uh, come on here you can get free decks if you win free cards so come on here try your luck see what you can do it's free free packs basically try out uh, new deck ideas anyway guys if you like this episode make sure you smack that like button if you subscribe to my channel send you notifications when I have new videos out you guys can come check it out see if you like it if you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends tell me what you like it there's a share tab down below click on the share tab copy the link post it on your Facebook Twitter wherever you do social media if you have any tips tricks or comments put it in the comments down below don't forget to follow me on social media pages don't forget to set your notification settings for the channel using the notification bell I'll see you guys on the next episode.